welcome back to another episode on the Ripple Effect server. I, uh, I worked on my house a little bit, as you might see. Out of the window in the middle instead of those two weird beams. I, I like that a lot better. And I extended the roof a bit and added some support beams there as well. For the rest, I, I didn't decorate much. I just sort of um, worked on the layout of it. So down here, it didn't really change except for the staircase that leads to the second floor. And then I got a little half attic or something going on. Which I thought could be a cool place to sort of put my bed there or something. And then, uh, I don't know. Maybe leave this sort of open. And then I'll do some storage in here. This should keep me good for a while. Obviously, you have to add a floor. Well, I gotta pretty much decorate the entire thing. I also added a balcony actually on the other side. It goes around the corner so I can sort of look on all sides of my house. Because this view is pretty, pretty cool, I think. And then we got a window here as well. But that obviously gives the same view. And then I added a little window here. Which I think is pretty nice. And then this one, which is pretty cool, because you can see the bridge towards the, the spider farm. But the first thing I'm going to do is grab my stuff from there. And move in, sort of. There isn't much to move in, but yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do now. And then we'll start decorating a bit more afterwards. Alright, it's almost night time. I got all my chests in there. <coughs> so I guess it's time to move my bed. Which, which I guess I consider to be, like, officially moving in. Because after that, I guess it's my spawn that's set, right? Alright, let's climb up here. Move these guys. And let's see, put this one down. And I guess I want a window here in the near future. Yes. I'll have it like this for now. At least I can see there. I kind of like this, having the little window. It should be almost there, right? Can I make this window bigger? I don't know. I mean this, I guess. Yeah, I kind of like that better. Although if I stand on my bed, I can't use it. This is... Nice little window. That works. Come on. Go down. I think I kind of have to wait until it's like halfway. Alright, I think we're just about ready. There we go. And I've set my spawn. Okay, so I've, I've done some work on the house. Put a little, uh, what's it called? Flower pot outside my window here. Next to my bed. A little bookcase. Nothing too fancy up here, really. I worked on this room a little bit. Got a little uh, workstation here with some uh, furnaces. And a brewing stand. Reorganized my chests a little bit. They're all empty except for this one. This is still, like, junkish. And then here I got... Put the rest in shulker boxes for now, just to clean it up a little bit. And... For the rest, I did most of the work outside. I actually want to do a few things in here before I go out. I just thought of that. Because I saw this pillar. And I thought that sort of leads up to there. So maybe that's nice. It helps the coziness a little bit. I think. I still need some lighting for here as well. And I saw my armor stand standing there. So I put an armor stand here with my face on it because I, I found my face. And I thought maybe I can put it here and shove like an end rod in its head so you don't see it. And it emits light and then maybe I could get rid of that torch as well. I think I'm going to do that. But I got my end rods in my uh, spawn hut. Oh, that's not the right box. Because I had another little idea, which I'll do... Where's my wood? There. Before I go out to spawn. Because I saw this and I thought if I place doors like that, 
It's a bit annoying because I can't get on the other side. But I have a little closet with my crafting bench and my little chest in there. Yeah, I like that. That works. Alright, so now let's go to spawn and get some end rods. I think that'll help. Yeah, let's put a torch here for now. Let's move to spawn. Yeah, they started working on the nether hub earlier this weekend. They did quite a bit of work already. It's a, it's a bit of a grey box from the outside, I guess. Oh yeah, and they were working on a guardian farm. I'm not sure if it's finished yet. There's a tunnel to it. Oh, and I guess Jumbo is that way as well. So this is what they've done so far. It's quite, quite a nice area, I guess. It's big. I like the floor. Oh, they got some piggy spawning. That's gonna be fun. I'm curious what they're gonna do with this next. I like the little lava things on the side. That's pretty cool. So we'll, we'll see how that evolves. Let's head into spawn. Oh, they removed the cactus farm. Oh, there's plenty of cactuses in there. Cacti? What's, what's the... I, I never know. Is anybody taking some stuff? Oh, the horse armors have gone. They've gone quite well. I'm home. Let's see. I think I have... There we go. I have a few. Do I want to bring some other stuff while I'm here? Might as well. Uh, those things are nice, I guess. Uh, let's bring those. I mean, might as well take some stuff while I'm out here again. Yeah, I think that's about it. Alright, let's move back again. So, I think I got some dark areas here. Yeah, seven. That's it's just one spot, isn't it? Really? Really just one spot? What if I remove that torch? There we go. Yeah, that does it. And we get a few more spots. Not too much, though. It's still... Oh, that's good. This side's fine, so if I put some light here, that should work. Let's... Give it a go. I already got my armor stand. I love armor stands. Let's give it some armor. Welcome back, Marlo. Uh, let's see. I need this. And one of these. This should be fine. There we go. Oh yeah. Got a sticky piston. <laughs> Push the block back up. That doesn't work. Alright. Head on there. Oh. There we go. It's a bit weird that he doesn't have anything above his head. Maybe I have to... Yeah, it's alright. Let's clean this up. I love this closet. Oh. I should put it there. Doop. I love that. That's so cool. I know I'm going to misclick probably at times, but that's alright. Yeah, I like this. Little Benki guarding the, the closet. That's where I live. Should have put my bed in here. That's actually suggested that, but it was too late. I already placed it up there. This still seems a bit dark. Is it? It's alright though. Eight. I think that's fine. Yeah, we're good. Maybe up here. No, it's all fine. Nice. I like this. 
And then next we'll decorate the upstairs, I guess. Oh, I wanted to show you guys outside. That was what I was going to do. Yeah. Because I did the outside. I see it's becoming dark, though. So maybe I should sleep first. That's probably a good idea. Now I'll show you the, the outside of the house. Which is slightly difficult. Because I have to like walk all over the the hills and stuff. But I added like a lot of greenery. And some foundations to the pillars and stuff. And I love this little area. I, I created a little water stream. That suggested that to do a water stream here. And I kind of like this idea. and I went a bit much with it. With the leaves and such. But... I kind of like it being overgrown so much. So that's pretty cool. But I'll, I'll walk around. It's, it's slightly annoying because I have to go over all these hills. Actually, I'll climb on the trees here because I think that's one of the best views of of that hut. Don't want to call it my base because that's going to change. I actually had an idea for that this weekend. Again, that sort of helped me think of it, but... It's going to be in that big lake over there. Like, sort of in the middle of it. And I don't think I'm going to give any spoilers yet. You'll you'll find out. Anyhow, I think this is this is probably one of the best views I can get from my place. And here you can see as well, like, the, the, the extra leaves I placed. Made it overgrown. Uh, yeah, I, I really like this. I still have to do something with the, with the walkway. Because I think it's a bit dull. And I'm going to have to give it, um, what is it, railings, so you don't fall off. Anyhow, let, let's continue to walk around the house. Here again, like a lot of, just some, added some nature and stuff. That always helps a build out, I think, here as well. Well, you can notice uh, really well how, how difficult it is to sort of show this good. I gotta jump around. Let's take some distance. I didn't really know how to make a nice looking wall, so I just made it overgrown. That, that, that's a lazy way to solve things as well. And my little uh, flower pot. And that's pretty much pretty much what I've done on the outside. Doesn't look that much, but it is it's quite a bit. Well, it maybe looks that way. I always think it makes a real big difference. But the next plan is, I, I noticed that uh, kelp, uh, what is it, dried kelp blocks, they, uh, they are quite a good source of uh, fuel. And I do have loads of coal, but I'd, I'd like to save that for torches. So I thought if I can make a little kelp farm, then I could, could have sort of a fuel source, which could be fun. And there, you can do it sort of like a cactus farm, so that's not not too big of a deal. And that hill over there, I, I didn't know how to, to make a kelp farm look nice or whatever. I couldn't think of any interesting mechanics. So I think I'm just going to put it in this hill. Okay, so I got my area dug out. And I'm going to do, I think, a two white path of kelp and then eight high. And then if they're all fully grown, that would be full stack although I just realized that I'm probably gonna put an observer or two up there to detect when at least one thing he has grown fully so it will probably never be fully grown but oh well that's doesn't really matter that much but I'm gonna do a, a nice aquarium just two white and then what is it nine white I might do two sections of four and then do like a middle barrier I think that's that'll look nice so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start building that, I guess. I'll just get on with it. Oh, I need dirt. And then let's remove the rest so we can put stone. So at least we'll know where the, the aquarium thingy will go. Give me stone, there. Put some light up there. Okay, and I, oh, I melted a lot of glass already. Yeah, I think it's in my in my house. I chose to dig it there. I think that'll uh, that'll be a nice spot. 
a little tunnel. Glass, there we go. Let's get something up there. Uh, let's see, I guess the bottom two rows or something. Ah, oh, I gotta fill this up again. Because the second row, where I'm, this block is, it's gonna have to be pistons. And then on that side as well. So I need to have a higher... Let's see. Oh, I didn't think of that. I dug out too much. Oh well. That's alright. I'll fill that in later. And then let's do one more. And... Then do glass. And I was playing around with kelp earlier, which was pretty cool, because I wanted to know if kelp would grow upstream. So I just placed like a water source up, up there like that, and then I... Well, at first I tried planting a kelp, which worked. And that surprised me already a little bit, because I didn't think that would be possible. And then when I removed the water, I noticed that where the kelp was... Actually, I can show you, I got some kelp, yeah. Let's wait until the water is gone. <laughs> I can't place a kelp now. But when I do this, I can plant a kelp. And that was surprising to me. And then I removed the water. And it, it stayed water. Like no. So I, uh, I removed the kelp. And uh, I generated a water bucket. Or a, a water source. Which was kind of cool. And I'm pretty sure that's going to get fixed. Hopefully not. I mean it could be a cool mechanic to play around with. But I don't think they'll, uh, they'll keep it. But since that's the case anyway. I only have to place like water sources on top. And it will fill itself which is kind of nice uh, so back to filling up this with glass so I got the glass in place but I also put the pistons there and some glowstone for some light and I hooked up a redstone line over the pistons and then I'll have to add an observer or something on the top somewhere or maybe I'll do a few and then when one of them gets grown, it'll trigger. Because they grow fairly uneven. I see here there's a few that are still quite low. Like that one, for example. That's barely grown. Well, this one, I accidentally triggered this piston earlier. And that's already outgrown it. And then there's two of them that are already at the top. So they grow fairly uneven. Which isn't... I mean, I don't mind that. That's alright. But I guess... I don't know, I'll have to see. And I'm gonna hook up some system to do that, I guess. How many observers do I have? Whoa. Four. I guess I'll do two. Or should I just do one? I think one is fine, why not? <laughs> I thought it would be more than it was, but. Yeah, I just put an observer repeater, a little redstone line, not a repeater, and then some redstone lines, and that's all the redstone. <laughs> so there's not much to show about it, really. So I'll just fill this in, and then we can start decorating. Before I decorate, I, I forgot to add, like, a water stream to sort of catch everything in the storage. So I put a little storage thingy there. I added a water stream. Uh, let's see. Can I show here? So I added a water stream. And then one lower. And I did some trapdoors there to stop the water. So that... Let's dig out to there so I can actually show you. Here. So the water stream ends here. The big one. And then I... So I put trapdoors here to stop it. And then... I got one 
water stream that flows this way and catches it all in this one spot. It seems like an easy and simple way to catch it all. But I didn't realize that the kelp just keeps growing. So obviously if if these ones grow faster than that one, they're going to change all these stop blocks to uh, source blocks. So I thought if I put some uh, trapdoors in there, that probably will prevent those things from growing in it. Alright, so I'm done decorating the the first part. I got three double chests. I think that's enough. Already got quite a bit. It just popped, so... A few minutes ago. And now I gotta decorate the, the sort of inside water tank thingy. Which I'll probably do similar to what... Uh, oh, there's a kelp floating. They, they don't all float as quick. I noticed. Anyhow, uh, I think I'm gonna decorate that similar to this, although without the the stairs and fence gates, because I don't want any weird gaps where items could get trapped. But I'll decorate it somewhat similar, I think. All right, so I finished decorating this room, almost. I still gotta do a ceiling and that little edge up there, and of course the entire tunnel. But I'm gonna leave that for the next episode, since I'm sort of running out of time. Yeah, we'll do this tunnel, and we'll also make a nice little entrance thingy. Maybe connect the walkway. But that's gonna be for, uh, for next time. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you later.